All right, we are approaching the underpass. I'll show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna go through. It's very windy out here. So this traffic light is not working at all, by the way. Look at, look at how narrow it is. Look at how narrow it is. See, the cars have to stop for these trucks coming through. This is very dangerous. The traffic light's not working. I'll show you where the pedestrian access is, and then we're going to walk through. It's very dangerous. There's no traffic light here. How could this light not be on? This is what I mean. This is the way we're treated here in Mineola. So we're going to go through. All right, so this light is not working. You can see it's still bagged up. And see, the pedestrian access is going to be up and over, and then we're still going to have to cross over the Oyster Bay line, and then they're going to install a pedestrian bridge, and you can see it says no pedestrian access, which technically is illegal because you have to have pedestrian access for a great crossing. So we're going to walk right through the tunnel. This is something you're not supposed to do, but I have every right to walk through as a pedestrian, and that is what we are doing. So let's walk through. I don't have to just dodge the cars. This is, this is the way we're treated here in Mineola. This would never happen in a community that counts. Only Mineola. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of traffic, so. This is what it looks like here. This is what it's, you can walk through here, you just have to dodge the cars, that's all. They're probably gonna honk at me, too. I don't care. There's enough room for me. Just hug the wall. Saves me a lot of time, trust me. People are gonna walk through here, all right? If they really cared, you know what they would do? They would have a car to take people across. But no, they don't do that either. So we're gonna just walk right through. No pedestrian access. I have every right to walk through here. You can't have a crossing for just cars only. That's illegal on the road. That is illegal. It's a federal law. They have to provide. If cars can cross, then pedestrians have to cross too. This is the grade. It's not a bad looking tunnel though. Honestly. So yeah, I have to walk like 15 minutes out of my way. And it's hot and it's humid. I'm not going to do that today. There you go. I walked through. You can do it. There it is. So again, pedestrians have to go up and then they're gonna build a bridge. They might be getting ready to build it, hopefully this weekend. And then we're gonna have to take an elevator up and over. You know, like the setup we have at the, the Intermodal Center. It would be much easier for pedestrians if they just put a sidewalk in here, but no. They didn't want to do that. They claimed they didn't have room. They would have had to take a little more property. So, they had to take a little more property. You know, it should have been done right. This whole project has been about cutting corners. It's better than what we had, but it's not what we needed. This is what it looks like right here. That's the tunnel. And uh, here's a truck I went through. It's a little tight for a truck. You can see that. See how the clearance between the truck and the car? It's tight, but they can make it. But it, it is tight. It's, it's kind of narrow. And it should have been done wider like all the other crossings. Uh, but for pedestrians, you're going to have to go up to a bridge and then take an elevator up and over the main line. And you're still going to have to cross the Oyster Bay line. Uh, so, again, they should have just put a sidewalk in here. It's ridiculous. This is this is discrimination right here. Plain and simple against pedestrians. But this is the way they this is what they think of Mineola. You know? 
This would never fly on the South Shore. It would never happen to a certain demographic. Only our area because our area is being redlined. Who wants to live in a community where you know, pedestrian access sucks? Who wants to live in a community like that? Nobody. Let's see these people moving out of the city. They want to live in a community that's walkable, uh, that, that has easy access to things, all right? That's where they're moving to the South Shore, right? Because that's where things like that are maintained. Whereas here, they don't care. It's a wasteland. But, I mean, it's better than what we had, but it's not what we needed. Okay, pretty much what I, what I said before. So this is, I think you have this dividing area over here. I'm gonna walk through here when I need the 15 because it's you know I'm not gonna go all around, you know. And note that there's no way for pedestrians to cross over here either. So what you're gonna have here? There's the railroad going across, by the way. That's what it looks like. So I'm hoping that when they shut the main line down, they will be installing that crossing, hopefully, in the next two weeks for pedestrians, uh, which will be up and over. It's still going to take longer because you're still going to have to go up and over. This is what it looks like on this side. I'm sorry about that. To me, this just doesn't look very nice. All right. It doesn't look as nice as uh, Roslyn Road or, you know, New White Park Road, even Covert Avenue with si uh, sidewalks for pedestrians. But I hear, you want to live here, and you want to get to the train station, or you want to get to the other side of Mineola, people aren't going to want to do that. That's why they're going to Garden City. It's easy for them to just go to Garden City. Garden City's doing well. You also have a blind spot. Look at this. Oh, you see? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Almost. Almost. You see what happened there? That's exactly what I mean. You see that? It's very dangerous. Should have been zoomed out a little more. That car was coming out. And see, the, see what's going on here? It's a blind spot. This is going to be a merge. This is very dangerous. Very dangerous. So, again, this is what we get here in Mineola. Substandard. Substandard. Just like people with mental disabilities, we, we are treated like substandard. So, quite fitting. It's very dangerous. These cars coming out, and then you got the cars coming out of the tunnel right next to each other. This should have been made wider. This is a terrible, terrible layout. Look at this. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Wow. Well, let me get over to the bus stop. And let me go to the South Shore. I don't place that matters. And I almost tripped over this uneven, uneven sidewalk there. Let me go to the South Shore and get out of here. Go to a place that matters. Well, I'll take a little more video showing you all the trash around here by the county center. By this uh, building here. Along with the trash, I found a dollar. So, hey, probably somebody just got out of jail, dropped their money. Look at this. Look at all this trash here. And who wants to live in this? This is the, this is the county seat. Look at this. It's just the way we're treated here in Mineola. It's just the way we're treated. And I just get bullied and harassed and intimidated for speaking up. That's why nobody speaks up about this. Meanwhile, the middle of the island is being ruined, and they're like, oh, you're just making the middle of the island look even worse. But we got to address the problem. People are leaving the middle of the island. They know what's going on. Look at all this trash, where this came from. Oh, I think this is what happened. This, uh, this, blew, this thing that this trash can that chained up blew over. Now, let's see if I can get it up right again. over. Somebody hit it. Probably somebody hit it. But that's what you get here in the middle of the island, so. Yep, here you go. That's the way it is here. Look at this parking meter here. You'll see what I mean. This is why I can look at this. Look at this sad looking parking meter. Look at how crooked it is. This thing was hit. You can see that. Look, it's rusted out. This is, this is the way Mini is treated. Alright, what are we not supposed to talk about it? All right, and just deny that it's happen deny what's happening to us. If we speak up, we can stop it. But if we don't speak up and not and it's just me talking, then then nothing's going to change in the middle of the island. This is going to be the next Hempstead. And then I'm going to have to fight to move to the South Shore or more than likely not be allowed to live there and have to live in 
New Jersey. So thank you for watching.